Good morning, guys. Uh, what we're doing today is this is a Blom surface grinder. It's a Simplex 75, but I'm 99% sure they're all the same. Now, removing the grinding hub from the spindle uh, is different to most. So, how this locks is it's a differential screw. So, what we have running into the nose spindle, it's a 1.5 thread into this bush is a 2.0 thread and this side of your bolt is a 2.0 thread as well so what it does it's a little bit tricky if you get the sequence wrong you do what these guys that owned this machine before me did is what you the shit out of it All right a uh, good way looks like either a gigantic rattle gun or alternatively just hammering on it which is absolutely no good for your spindle so how it works is i'll bring you in close if you can see the your hub not this ring ignore the ring ignore the rotating ring for your wheel you have a staked point on the hub and then you have a stake onto your bolt. Now the trick is you need to line those up so they're lined up perfectly in line and once they're lined up perfectly in line, to get them perfectly lined you have to turn it counterclockwise. So this thread on your bush and the thread on your bolt are both left-handed threads. So to pull the hub onto the spindle, you are turning to your right, which will pull the hub onto the spindle. So to loosen it, you've got to turn that hub anti-clockwise till they line up, then spin the bush whilst holding your bolt in the position of lining up, spin your bush counterclockwise, sorry, clockwise, so to your right, and then it just comes out easy as. If you get in there and start rattling this, trying to get it off, you're just gonna completely and utterly destroy everything. So. Uh, you can use these things shouldn't be excessively tight they don't need to be ridiculously tight what's going to be pretty firm is there's a hell of my taper what's going to be pretty firm is the retaining ring that holds your grinding wheel on because if that slips when you turn your machine on and off especially on these big direct drive um, grinders it's going to throw your wheel out of balance so I'll try to do this one handed but small tap, that's all it's needed. Hopefully you saw that. Line your two marks up. It's lining your two marks up. Spin this ring to your right. You notice it's just a knurl. It doesn't need a pair of vice grips doesn't need hackery to get it off. Whilst holding that in out there, oops, you get spun. You got a trick. I'll put that back onto the weight of the spanner and holds it in line. Alright, so that's once that's off. Then you've got to turn the inner bolt to your right, which pulls it out. Now, what will take you back to the shed and what we 
need to do next to be able to pull that off rather than oops, rather than hacking at it like these guys here with hammers and so forth I've actually made up I've actually made up a um, a little little puller. So basically, how this works is you just have a hard washer to save damaging the end of your spindle. Sit that in there. Wind your bush in. like a little manual press puller. I made that thread all a little bit too precise. It doesn't need to be that precise. And that's a simple as 70 mil hex. And one handed, we will just give it a slight tap with your hand. And that's nice. Right, easy as that.